Namaste. I'm Dr. Shweta. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist. I'm a fertility consultant as well. I practice at Janista Fertility Center and Hospital, which is located at Basveshwar Nagar in Bangalore. I'm the managing director of uh, Janista Fertility Center and Hospital. Janista. Why Janista? What does Janista mean? Janista means desire. Most of the people come here with a desire to conceive, and that is why you know, we chose the name as Janista. COVID is a relatively new pandemic. The effect of COVID on people and pregnancy is not yet known. But there are very few studies which has been done and probably from March when the uh, pandemic was extensive, there are studies which says that COVID infection in pregnant women doesn't have much of uh, effect on pregnancy and on the baby. For example, there have been studies which say that there are no changes in the miscarriage rates in the first trimester. So that means to say that the abortion rate is the same even with COVID and without COVID. The chances of transmission of this COVID virus to the baby through the placenta is also not known. Now the effects in the second and the third trimester is also not known as well. There has been no changes in the growth rate of the baby or the birth weight of the baby or any other complications that is going to happen during the pregnancy. So it is relatively safe when a person has conceived through the COVID pandemic and delivered as well. But then there are certain precautions that needs to be taken when a person has uh, conceived and planning for a delivery. Extra precautions during delivery because blood test needs to be done and see whether the other parameters like liver test and D-dimers and uh, your LDH levels, all these are affected or not. So these are the prognostic markers to say whether the person is going to be safe during delivery or not. Now coming to breastfeeding, the virus is not known to transmit during breastfeeding so it is quite safe to go ahead and breastfeed the baby during the COVID infection. This is only a short data but then we never know what is the actual effects going forward. So we'll have to follow up the babies and see how are they intellectually developed and what is the effect they're going to have in future. So probably a lot of studies are going to come up and help us you know, to know what is the kind of impact this COVID pandemic has made.